You know, in our community, when it comes to black men, black men of any kind of upper mobility, you know, are labeled names like educated lame. Yeah. Only in the black community, we will call a black man an educated lame and education just doesn't mean you went to college. You could have went to trade school. You could have been a brother that got a lot of certificates. Maybe your brother that's a researcher, you know, you, you educated people know when they talk to you that you're an educated brother, right? Also in the black community, the term corny, now, corny could be in relation to, you know, you're a person that just don't have a great fashion sense, or maybe, you know, your personality could be le leading on the, maybe the little nerdy side to a point, nothing wrong with being nerdy because you need all kinds, right? I mean, the nerdy people is your scientists, your mathematicians, you know, you need that in society, right? But I want you to listen to this woman and what she's advocating other women to do in relation to quote unquote corny men. Let's talk about corny men and not corny men okay leave these bad boys alone you don't want them they might be fun when you're young they don't work they want to party all the time they want to do drugs they want to smoke they want to hustle leave them alone this is the year to get a corny man okay we're moving on that's the new groove if you corny you are for me russell wilson think like that you want a man that want to go to school want to study want to have a steady job because let me tell you something okay you're gonna look up in that corny dude who was working the nine to five going to school and all that stuff you're gonna look up and 10 years later he gonna own the store he gonna own the mcdonald's he gonna have his doctor's degree he gonna have whatever else and you done passed up on him when you was young and fine and kidless playing with the hustlers okay and he gonna be married to somebody else looking at you crazy like no he don't want you ladies it's time to play the long, smart game. Get somebody with potential who likes you. He may be corny. He may not have it all. But guess what? Y'all can grow together. And you'll be looking back and you'll thank me later. Okay? This is the year to get a corny man. That's what's back in style. So this woman's definition of a corny man is just a regular man. A man that is not out here getting in trouble committing crimes a man that has get up and go about himself, a man that has drive, a man that has purpose, a man that wants to be committed to his family, a man that's not putting hands on his woman, a man that's not drunk, high, all that sort of thing constantly, right? She's telling other sisters in the community to get them a corny man. So even though she's saying get one, that's still insulting to call men like that corny, but outside of our black American community, men like that are sought after. You understand? And see a lot of times those same men, when they're young er, they wanted a lot of you. And what she said in the video was completely honest and accurate. And I believe she has been that woman too. If, if, if not, she's living the result of those choices. There's a lot when they y'all young, y'all 20, 21, 22, 23, all in y'all twenties, these so-called corny men want to be with you. Some of them even want to marry you. You didn't want to, because you wanted to be outside. You want the attention of, of, of Pookie and Ray Ray and the scrubs and the scammers and all of that. Oh, you was all into that. I'm not fooling with that educated lame. I'm not fooling with that corny dude. But then when you realize later down the line, after you used up by these men and some of you get children by them, unfortunately, now you're saying, shoot, where's that good job having a brother at? What is that brother that was always telling me about some research and he was doing and what that brother at that was telling me about the periodic table and he found something different about the periodic table. What that brother at? What that brother at that always was talking about, you know, certain things in math that just, you know, uh, amazed him. Where that brother at? Oh, those, those brothers with globalization, a lot of those brothers, they're not here no more. They're not, not because they left because a lot of those brothers, are. It, it, this is what they hearing, you know, and not hearing you. They out of here. 
because if there are places in the world that would appreciate a, a smart brother, a brother that's not getting in trouble, a brother that's making an honest living, they'll appreciate that. But only in our community, and this, I'm not saying all, but still in our community, men like that aren't the top choice. In the right world, your scammers, your Pookie and Ray Rays, your scrubs, etc., they should be at the bottom of the barrel. But in our community, it's flipped upside down, especially in the young years. See, these men don't ever forget either. You wonder why some villains are created? They're created a lot of times in their 20s. Then those villains sometimes, you know, get of age or they meet a woman, but they don't really have a whole lot of sympathy after that. But they cool at that point, right? Or if they don't become a villain, a woman get them. Let's say even if it's a woman from a different community. And then now you see this brother successful, this brother making all this money. Some of you can probably see, see this brother on TV. Or maybe you even ran to this brother again on Facebook. How many, you remember that one uh, story I covered a long while ago where this one woman uh, said that she turned down this dude and all that. And then she looked up, he was married and, and had a family. And see, what you don't want another woman to take. And they're going to treat that man right. Some of you have turned away good men, good men. And if you go look up that man, he probably doing so good for himself right now. And a lot of times these women know that these guys aren't good. They know it. They know it. But they're so caught up in, a, you know, because don't, don't think that only the men have this thing about looks. Oh, one thing I can tell you about the black community, the women sometimes are worse than the men about looks. What a man dressing like, what his shoes are like. Like, oh, boy, they, they pinpoint head to toe some of them. But then when these same men get outside around other groups, then I ain't paying attention to all that. They paying attention to, hey, what kind of dude this is? Where he going? And they and they good at peeping and say, oh, okay, let me give it to him because I say about 10 years. Oh, he gonna be he gonna be sitting on about 20 million. Yeah, yeah, let me go ahead and get with him now. Now he may not have that right now, but I can see it's coming. So I'm gonna be right there. That's what that's what a lot of you be missing out on right there. Even in college with the sport, athletes, how is it that you allowing Becky to, to go swoom, swoop in and, and, and get those men? That shouldn't be happening. And not Becky, whoever it is. Why are they were always swarming around? Y'all should be getting the men when they when they at, in college. Start there. I never understand that. And no, not every brother out here like Becky like that. Not every brother. It, it, is chase, chasing snow bunnies and all. No, 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 no. No, they're not. Not every black man like that. But just get the brothers when they're young. Don't don't wait till don't wait till you you mid middle age. Don't wait till you almost getting close to menopause and all of a sudden now you're talking about you want a decent brother. Don't do that. Don't do that. Get them while you're young. Get them in your twenties. That's the time to get them. So you won't be on the internet talking like this lady talking about you should have do it young, when you're young. Like don't waste your life. You only got a certain time period.